today we will solve the problem 1.8 of uh, Griffith third edition introduction to quantum mechanics. The problem 1.8 is suppose you add a constant V0 to the potential energy by constant I mean independent of X as well as T. In classical mechanics this does not change anything but what about quantum mechanics? So that uh, the wave function pick up the time uh, time dependent phase vector exponential uh, i minus i v naught t over h cross. What effect does this have the expectation value of a dynamical variable? So now let us say suppose psi satisfy the Schrodinger equation uh, without v naught. Uh, that is uh, Schrodinger equation is i h cross uh, del, uh, delta psi over delta t which is equal to minus h cross squared over 2m delta 2 psi over delta x2 plus v psi. Now find the uh, solution of uh, psi with v naught. This is Schrodinger wave equation is without v naught. Now we are going to find with uh, v naught. With V0, uh, the wave function is uh, pi, let us say the wave function is pi, which is equal to psi e power minus i V0 t h cross as given in the problem. So now uh, the Schrodinger equation will become i h cross delta pi over delta t, which is equal to minus h cross squared over 2m delta 2 uh, pi over delta x2 plus v plus v naught pi. Uh, so now we, uh, we will find the solution for this. Uh, so now we got this uh, Schrodinger equation. Uh, now you replace pi by its uh, wave function psi e power minus i v naught t over h cross. So uh, you apply uh, here. So this will become, this pi will become psi. Uh, I am in the right side, I am taking E minus I V naught T over H cross as a common factor. So this will become uh, minus H cross squared over 2M uh, delta 2 psi over delta X2 plus V plus V naught psi uh, and multiplied by this exponential term. Uh, now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take in the left hand side we are going to take uh, the time derivative of this parameter psi e power minus i v naught t over h cross. So uh, first uh, as it is you differentiate psi. So this will become i h cross uh, delta psi over delta t. Uh, then uh, you keep the exponential term as it is. Then uh, you differentiate the exponential term. If you differentiate the exponential term, you will get, of course, you have i h cross. This will become minus i v naught over h cross. Then psi uh, plus that uh, multiplied by this uh, exponential term. Uh, what will happen to the other side? Other side if, uh, is uh, derivative is with respect to x. So here in the exponential terms, no x dependence. So we are keeping this as it is. So right hand side will be as it is. Only thing is here in both right hand side and left hand side, we can cancel out this exponential term. So then you will get i h cross delta psi over delta t. Here you will get uh, my, uh, minus uh, i v naught. Uh, so so uh, here you can see i into i i square which is minus 1. So this will uh, become uh, minus 1 uh, min of minus 1. Minus of minus you will get plus. Plus v naught uh, psi. And this h cross will get cancelled with this h cross. So you will get only uh, v naught uh, plus uh, psi. So uh, in the right hand side you are retaining the same thing as it is. Now you can see in the right hand side you have 
uh, V not psi plus V not psi. In the left hand side also, you have plus V not psi. So both will get cancelled. This will get cancelled with the right hand side. So you will get only I H. Uh, sorry, only you will get I H cross uh, delta psi over delta t uh, minus H cross square over 2m delta uh, 2 psi over delta x2 plus uh, v psi. Uh, so this is exactly the same as what we have uh, without uh, v naught. So uh, this has uh, no effect on expectation value of dynamical variable because we are getting the same Schrodinger wave equation. I uh, refer my lecture on constant perturbation. In the case of constant perturbation, it will not uh, affect the energy level of the system. Uh, in the case of harmonic uh, perturbation, uh, the particle may uh, absorb the absorb uh, the absorb or emit the uh, waves. So either it absorb the wave or emit the wave. In the case of constant perturbation, uh, it will not absorb or emit the uh, wave. So uh, the it's retain the energy level. So th that is conceptual one. Here we have mathematically proved it. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously.